morning, you guys. I'm just kind of looking over my list for the day. I was about to start making breakfast and I realized that we're out of eggs. So Keegan, my husband, is out and I asked him to pick some up. He actually is trying out a new barber shop for a haircut and he just texted me and said, I didn't think he cut it that short, but I think it's going to be hat time again. So <laughs> I'm a little nervous that he's going to come home looking really different, but like, I mean, how bad? could it be but he also knows that I don't like it when he gets a haircut and he comes back looking like a completely different person so I feel like he's gonna look different for sure but you know I guess he needed a haircut that should be exciting I put some little croissants in the oven they're just these I just ran and grabbed them but they're these like Trader Joe's croissants that you just let them proof overnight and then you bake them. I'm super excited to try and then I'm just gonna make some eggs and some like potato pancakes that I also got at Trader Joe's. I just went for a trip there. I just, I love everything in that store. So I've been using up all of the fun groceries that I got. Ours is like 40 minutes away, so I don't go that often, but I love it when I do. Today is going to be a pretty nice day out today. It's a little overcast, but gonna be pretty warm. I'm really just enjoying these last days of summer. I know it's like not really a popular opinion, but I don't really get that excited for fall. I'm just such a summer person and I love the sunshine, love the warmth, love the fun dresses and sandals. So it's really hard for me to get excited about it cooling off. But I really want to embrace fall a little bit more this year, even though it does mean that winter is coming. Fall is a gorgeous season and it is fun to get out sweaters and be a little bit more cozy. I'm looking forward to like hot drinks. I'm excited about like making soup again because I love to make soup. Yeah, I'm basically just excited about the food aspect of it, but you know, it is not fall yet. It is not, even though I feel like everybody is already getting into it and that's okay, but I'm just gonna enjoy these last days of summer while it's still nice and warm out. We actually have some garage sales locally that I think Keegan and I are gonna go look at. I don't know if we'll get anything. I just wanted to look around and I want to try out a new little coffee shop. Place. It's like this coffee camper that's nearby that I've been wanting to try So I want to go there as well today and just get some housework done a regular day in the life It's a Saturday just getting some things done and enjoying the last bits of the nice warm weather Let's do a hair reveal Keegan. Look at that. Look at it's that. not like it looks like a nice haircut It's just you look so different. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't had my hair this short in six to eight months <laughs> Yeah So Keegan is off. He's actually looking to get his motorcycle's license. He has his permit already, but the motorcycle license test is like a driven test and he still has to practice the like cone thing. I forget what it's called, but him and another friend are getting their tests done sometime next week maybe. So they're practicing today. So he's gone, that's where he is. But we got just a few things at the garage sales. So I'm excited to show you. The first two are plants. I have this one. 
and it is called a ZZ plant and it's short for something that I like I could not pronounce so if you look up a ZZ plant you could see the like full name of it but it's like super long but it needs repotted because it's kind of growing a little bit and I want to get like a cute pot for it but it kind of broke on the way home because we literally almost got into a car accident we were like coming up to an intersection and the person who was supposed to stop they did kind of stop but then they like weren't paying attention or didn't see us and then they started like coming out and thankfully they were already like halfway out they stopped right as we were like about to hit them but we slammed on our brakes super hard and they did too but we were very close to hitting them praise the lord everybody is safe but we slammed on our brakes so hard and some things came like falling down and this thing got a little broken but i honestly thought there was going to be more damage so this really isn't that bad the next plant is just a snake plant I've been wanting one. Every house needs a basic snake plant that is like really hard to kill, super easy, one that I don't have to worry a lot about, a good faithful plant. So I decided to grab it and find a place for it. Keegan was like, where are we going to find room for another plant? But I think because these ones don't require a lot of light, thankfully, I think that I can find little shelves or little areas to set them. There was another plant that I really wanted. She was calling it a rubber plant. It wasn't made of rubber but it was like a nickname. It was so pretty and I really wanted it, but I just don't have a lot of windows in our apartment with full sun or pretty direct sunlight and that's what it needed. And my fiddle leaf is kind of a plant that needs that and it's not doing just the greatest and I really didn't want to kill another plant. So I had to say no, but I really, really wanted it. That's one thing I look forward to whenever we get a house is hopefully having more windows more windows with great lighting to incorporate more plants so until then I'm just gonna have to do with little plants that don't need that much sunlight and the last thing that we got is this super cute vintage jacket it has this like corduroy collar and plaid on the sleeves it is so cute and I pulled it out it was a lady small but I was like this is kind of big and I tried it on and let me show you I know it like it's not gonna be able to go well with a dress like this, but I feel like I'm swimming in it. I don't know how this is the lady small. I feel like it wouldn't be so bad if this wasn't like so long and the sleeves are really long too, even though like I tried folding them up even more. I was like, just a little bit big. I'm all about that oversized look, but like it's really big on me. And I was like, Keegan, like you should try it on. Even though it's like a lady small and he was like a little bit skeptical. We tried it on and I'm telling you like it was made for him. It looked so cute on him. And so I'm super excited. I think it'll be a really cute outfit for him. Little addition to his fall and winter closet. But yeah, we won't tell anyone that he's wearing a lady small jacket. So I think that I'm going to go ahead and get some housework done. I need to do some dishes and vacuum mop our floors. I feel like not super motivated since I came back from like garage sailing and stuff and that was really fun to get out and about. It is such a beautiful day. It just feels so good. It's like pretty warm but there's like a really nice breeze. Loving it but I'm like not feeling very motivated to like come back and like get housework done but you know it's got to be done. I'll be happy when it's done so let's do it also i'm about done with my drink but the new coffee shop called sip coffee is so good it was such a cute little camper trailer and this coffee is like perfect the perfect amount of sweetness i don't really drink a lot of coffee because caffeine can make me feel super jittery kind of anxious and they didn't have decaf so i was like i don't know but i was like i really wanted a coffee so i decided to just take the chance i have not even been feeling bad at least yet I've been feeling great i actually feel like i have a surge of energy and i I feel like coffee sometimes makes me like tired. I don't know, maybe I'll crash in a little bit. I think maybe part of it is like, this isn't like super sweet. I got a vanilla latte, which I know is like the most basic drink, but they have like the perfect amount of sweetness, which is just enough to like make it not so bitter, but it doesn't feel like I'm drinking a super sugary drink. So love that. We will definitely be going back.
right, I have now pretty much constructed everything that I need for my meal plan this week. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I love to meal plan. It really just helps me stay on track and stay organized with cooking. I really enjoy cooking, but I don't do very well when I have to like think up ideas last minute. You know, it just helps me know that I have all the groceries that I need on hand and if I need to like get something out to thaw or prep a little bit beforehand, it keeps me very prepared. So this is obviously pretty flexible and I can move things around. You know, if I decide that I want to make an easier recipe on a night that we're running behind, make a little bit more of a fun, complex meal when I have a little bit more time on hand. I usually go grocery shopping after this, but I try to kind of stock up a little bit and then plan with things that I already have on hand this week. Um, just to avoid going to the grocery because I feel like we have plenty of food at home and I don't think that I need to go. So hopefully I think I can make it all week without going. Monday night is usually our pizza night. Sometimes I'll make pasta, something super easy. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'll be making it with some garlic flatbreads that I got at Trader Joe's. We did this this week and they're so good. Tuesday nights, Keegan has Bible study. So I haven't really been making anything. I usually either heat up leftovers or make something frozen from the freezer because I just don't think it's very fun to cook for just me. Like half the fun is sitting down with Keegan and enjoying it together. So I just usually keep it pretty simple for myself. I think I have some orange chicken in the freezer, a couple other things that I might make. On Wednesday, I'm going to be doing pork chops and Brussels sprouts. Um, I have never made Brussels sprouts before. It's not really something I grew up with. I don't think my dad liked them, but Keegan likes them. So I'm trying to, you know, give them a try. I think that they look pretty simple to make and it sounded really good with pork chops. I'm going to be making like an Asian ginger pork chop. And on Thursday, I will do chicken stir fry with some rice noodles and Friday stuffed peppers. And then Saturday and Sunday, I keep it pretty simple simple. It feels like a lot of times we either have plans or we could like use it as a date night, go out together. That's my meal plan for this week. I thought maybe I'd share and maybe I'd give you guys a little bit of meal inspiration if you want some ideas. Now I'm going to get started on making dinner. I'm actually just going to make something simple because we're going to go on a little picnic tonight. Just with the weather being so nice, I thought it sounded super fun. So I'm just going to pack some, I think, tuna I'll do with tortillas and a couple other little things. <sighs> I'm trying to keep dinner super simple, but my can opener broke. And so now we're trying to figure out how to open the cans of tuna without a can opener. So And we got them open. It 
It is definitely getting dark earlier now and we're just gonna start tuning in for the night. I put on some essential oils. They just smell super good and they're super relaxing. And my sister is actually coming over and staying the night tonight. So I want to get everything ready for her. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you made it this far and you haven't already, you may as well subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you'd like and I will see you all next time.